Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. This is a follow-up video to video number 163 where I went over the send me command. I kept using print line instead of print, and as I was using it, I had some weird errors. I began to wonder why it didn't work, because the only difference between print and print line is you're attaching a carriage return and a new line. And so I did, spent a little time doing some research, and I thought, well, I'll make a quick video on what I found. For the next portion, I'm going to use the exact same setup that I used for video number 163. I'll just make some adjustments to the Arduino code. And as far as that goes, I'm going to switch over to the Arduino now. And I did do some mess around, but I'm hoping I have this Arduino code set exactly to where it was when I ended the last video, uh, 163. So I started with the serial print send me down here, but I'd have to delay the five seconds and then I would go up. And for testing purposes, I wanted to change the order of how I'm doing things. So I'm going to um, comment this line out. And up at the top, I've added this uh, the send me up here. I put a little delay so that the serial port has a time to collect the data back in. And then after that, it should all be the same. We're going to get the code and the page um, just like we did before. And I had the, this commented out, so I'm going to uncomment it. And we're going to start with the print line command in both scenarios. I'm going to upload this to the Arduino, switch back to the Nexion, and we'll start with this configuration. And I've learned that if you clog the serial port or if you do something negative to it, it holds it in here, and you have to go up to this operation, and you have to reboot the simulator. And that clears the serial port, and it gets you all set back to as if you're just starting the debug. Your other option is to close the debug window and open it. And I've recently started using the same serial port to both in the Arduino IDE to program it and then also use it in this debug mode. And when I do that, I want to send messages and I can't use the serial monitor on the Arduino. Instead, I use this area down here. And I'm learning that that can cause some issues, so you have to be careful. But it also led to me realizing some things out. So sometimes good happens from some bad things. I'm going to get it started now. Okay, I've let it collect a little bit data. I'm going to scroll up to the top. And the first thing that the Nexion gets is the send me command. And it has the end characters tied to it, so it sees it as a legitimate command. And it outputs this 66, which is the send me response with a page number of 0. If I were to select these other pages, that would be a 1 or a 2. And that works fine. But what it does is it adds these two characters to the beginning of page 0 and then that 102 and then it ends with its carriage return it doesn't really recognize that as a command either so we don't get an error or anything it's just complete garbage I guess I'm surprised that we don't get an error response but you'll see that later where we will get the the error response but then after the page 0 and the 102 and the end characters is are sent you get that end line again and that's an action sees that as if it's on the front of the send me so it doesn't recognize it. So even though I sent the send me again, I don't get a second response here. But if I hit start, you'll see that I get nothing here. And that's because the serial port is still set in that way. So if I, if I reboot the simulator, I should get one response. I was wondering how that would respond because depending on the state and where stuff was going through, I might or I might not get it. But I'm only going to get it once. So now we're going to go back and make one change to the Arduino code. Which I've got to make sure that this is stopped. I'll go back to the Arduino code. And now what I'm doing is I'm adding this end character before the send me, and then I also have it after the send me. So the next one is going to interpret this end character as the end of a message. So whether it's garbage, what, whatever is sent, when it sees that end character, it's going to say, oh, that message is over, and now I'm going to start the next character, or start the next command. I'm going to upload this now, and I'll show it to you in the debug. Now before I start this down here, I'm going to reset the display. 
Now I'm going to hit start. Now I've stopped this, but you can see I've got three responses. And what it did is it sent this end character, so that told the next action that after that, we're at the end of the, of the command. It didn't do anything because it didn't recognize it as a command. But then it sent this send me, and it sees it as a command all on its own. Now it's adding the end line in the carriage return to this page 0, 102, so it's not treating that as anything. And then when I go down to this, where I have that page 0 and that 102, and I add this end character to the end of it, well, this is canceling it out. That YYY there, or that five, or the three Fs, is canceling that out. So then the next send me, it sends it, and it would do that on and on. So if I start this again, and I hit page 2, we get the page 2. I'm going to stop this go back to the Arduino. So you can see by adding this end character before your messages, you can assure that your message will get sent through. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but I've added it just to show you that that's one solution. Okay, I'm going to set this one back, and now we're going to go back. Now we're going to go down to the serial print line area. So now down here where we print that page number, we're just doing it as a print. We're not adding that the two characters, the line feed and the carriage return to the end. But we still have it on the send me command. So I'm going to load this in and we'll see what we get. Now I rebooted the simulator. I'm going to go to start this. Okay, I let it collect three and you can see it's working again. And we'll just go over why. In this case we saw the full command and that's fine. Send me with the three F's. And then we get that line feed carriage return which is tied to the page zero. But then we don't get that at the end of this. We see this, the three F's which cancels that command or ends it. And then the send me is a clean command again. So it works just fine. And so if I start this again and go to page two, we should see 6602 next. And we do. I'll go back to the Arduino. Now for this one, I'm going to remove the print line from up here on the send me, but I'm going to add it in down here. Okay, so this time I've stopped it after getting three messages. And you can see that these two, the 1A FF, is an error message, which is telling it some sort of a variable error. And what I think in this case is, it's seeing, let me scroll up, it sees the send me as a, as a command and it replies, but then it sees the page zero. It must see that page as, a, as it knows what it is. It doesn't have that line feed before it. And so it recognizes it as a command, but it thinks it's trying to assign it and it doesn't understand it. And then it sees the second send me and ignores it because it sees that line feed in front of it. But then the send me doesn't have the line feed after it, so then it recognizes the page again. And that's how that works. So I think it's probably just a bad idea to use that um, print line command because it just affects the next message that's sent. Now there is one other interesting configuration because we know that the Arduino is going to reply to any message it gets from the Nexion. And in this case, we're sending it this error message. And so I'm going to remove the print line from both of them, and I'll show you something interesting that happens. So I've already moved it from the send me. I'm going to remove it from here, and I'm going to upload it. Now I've rebooted the simulator here, and you'll want to watch in this field right here, because what will happen is it'll start to loop, and it'll, uh, it'll start happening. It takes a few passes for some reason, but it is fairly interesting. And if you watch, it replies with multiple um, error messages. That time I got four. And that time it got a whole bunch. And now you can see it's just starting to loop out of control. 
and I can't even scroll up and down anymore. So if I stop this and I do it a page at a time, you can see that it's tons of FF. So it, it gets into that loop state, which does kind of make sense because if it sends an error message back to the Nexion, the Nexion's gonna could reply back with the with a code and then it could just start going back and forth. So I just thought that was kind of interesting because see it was sending this page negative one twenty six and I'm sure that 26 must equate maybe to 1a in hex. I'll see if the editor can throw that in there or not. And so it's just getting it into some sort of loop state. I guess the point of this video is you really shouldn't use print line because that can cause some strange errors. And maybe you shouldn't use the Nexion to show messages for debugging. Maybe it's better to take the time to have that second serial port and, and run the messages out the, a separate port of the Arduino. So that way you're not affecting what's happening on the Nexion because if you're doing something in debug and then you think you're fighting an error that you might have in your code, you can waste a lot of time troubleshooting code just to find out that you it was just your debug setup or something like that. But I just thought this was pretty interesting and in that last video I was getting some weird results. I cut some of it out but I was getting a little frustrated in the last video. So it's nice to determine why it was happening and, and how to avoid it in the future. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.